Hey everyone, in this guide I want to try to tackle some of the most asked questions newcomers might have for next amount of extinction on the Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Steam on PC. There's two major topics often brought up everywhere you go. First, is this the same game as the mobile game, and if not, what are the actual differences? And secondly, just what is Nexamon exactly, or is it just another run-of-the-mill Pokemon clone? Starting out, let's make this very clear. Nexamon and Nexamon Extinction are two completely separate games. Extinction takes place years after the events of the first game that released on mobile. Think of it like silver and gold to the originals red and blue. While harsh, the description of a Pokemon clone is accurate. But by definition, every monster taming game would be a Pokemon clone, and that's simply just not the case. With that said, this series does have its own merits and twists in the monster catching genre. As a series, not just Extinction, it has quite a bit of history, lore, and comedy tied to its writing. A Nexamon called Omnicron ruled the lands and served as the king of all Nexamon. One day, humans began to befriend the Nexamon and challenge his reign. By taking him down, they freed the Nexamon from under him and restored peace to the world. That's essentially the plot of the mobile game, excluding some twists and turns to avoid specific spoilers. You're essentially playing as the hero who puts together his Nexamon squad alongside a few other Valiant Tamers who are referenced in extension to take down Omnicron. To avoid breaking embargo, I'll only go over the details P-Cube has released regarding the sequel, and I won't go into too much detail since the reviews are actually set to hit August 26th. The second game takes place years after the events of the first. In fact, that's part of the prologue fully depicting the hero from the first game alongside the tamers that fought with him to save humanity and free up the Nexamon. In Extinction, you'll be playing as a new tamer, setting his or her own very own adventure. The tyrants are the main focus of the sequel. These massively powerful creatures are fighting one another for control, as the last standing would be crowned king of the Nexamon once more. The game also has a brand new set of Nexamon. This time around, you have the option to choose from 9 different starters, each tied to the 9 elements in the game. In the original mobile release, there were only 7 elements, so 7 starters. Regardless of the element, each of these new Nexamon are completely new, each with their own evolutionary chains. The original Nexamon game had 300 or so creatures within it, and Extinction has north of 380. The kicker is that they're all brand new to the series. So for those asking if this was a port of the mobile game, fear not, this is a new entry with a new batch of Nexamon. There are a few notable story-heavy legendaries that do make a return, and I won't go into that due to spoilers. However, the overwhelming majority of the Nexamon are all new. Other differences are how the game handles microtransactions. In Nexamon Extension, at the time of launch, you won't be finding any. And that doesn't mean that they won't implement them post-launch, and believe me, that is something that people should vocally oppose to if it does happen, but as of now, that is not the case. In the first game, you could spend money for premium currency to buy XP boosters, XP share, skates to walk faster, and a few other items. These were permanent buffs to simply make your game easier and less grindy. You could also spend money buying Nexo boxes. That was the game's version of Gacha, where you could obtain a rare Nexomon without having to actually go out and find them. Again, and I'll repeat this as of now, none of that is an extinction. You'll actually be able to get the experience boosters in the game normally by just playing. This being a $30 game does make it less likely that we'll see the gacha making a return, but you actually never know. Lastly, things like the HUD were completely overhauled. Menus, settings, everything was tweaked, giving the users a much better experience. Tons of quality of life changes can also be found, but I won't go into details. But to be honest, that was kind of expected. So that's it for this video, I think that anyone who played the first next amount on mobile and liked it should definitely be looking forward to Extinction, and all new players shouldn't hesitate to take a look at it once their reviews are out on the 26th. If you're new to my channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and as always, thank you so much for watching. See ya!